<clears throat> All right. Good evening, mga kababayan. Ito po ay Near Protocol PH. Ngayon, I'm with Orvard. And this is Andy. <laughs> Hello. Good evening po sa inyo lahat. At uh, ngayon, mag-showcase po kami ng mga artists ng Paras. If you can see my screen right now, ito po yung Paras. And for your information, Paras ay isang website uh, that's built on top ng near blockchain. So if you want to learn more about yung near blockchain, you can head over to our socials and then you can look us up. Pero ngayon, this, uh, tonight, we will be looking up yung limang artists lang. Five artists. Mag-showcase pa kami ng kanilang mga artwork. So, uh, first artist for tonight, ito po si Cryptera.near. Right. Kung mahilig kayo sa Pokemon <laughs> trading cards, sa itong interesting na artist. Kasi yan yung concept niya. It's very similar sa Pokemon. Ito po yung mga cards niya. Yes, you can see. Yan. Parang pocket monsters. <laughs> All right. Literanong artist ba to si Cryptera? Uh, honestly, hindi po ako sure kung if he has other platforms. Pero nung nag uh, whitelist po siya sa Nier, uh, he got in pretty fast. Tsaka he grew a lot. Hmm. Ang bilis ng kanyang uh, attraction dito sa Paras. Maraming taong interesadong bumili ng kanyang mga cards. So, yung mga kakilala nating ibang artist, mga siguro half a million pesos na yung na-earn. Hmm, yeah. Yung iba sa platform na to. Paras is a fairly new platform, pero a lot of artists are already earning a lot of money dito. Especially mga Pinoy. Maraming Pinoy artists dito. Talaga? Yeah. May mga, Ito. ano, uh, Andy, may mga kakilala ko mga artists din, pero nung in-invite ko sila to, ano, to audition sa Paras, na, na discourage sila kasi hindi daw sila marunong gumawa ng digital art. Maybe later you can demonstrate sa atin kung paano mag-mint. Especially kung may digital na file ka na. Di ba ikaw artist ka din sa Paras, di ba? Yeah, minsan. <laughs> Konti lang. Min Sometimes. Minsan. <laughs> Mint. Minsan lang. <laughs> Yes. Seasonal artist lang. <laughs> Yun. Pero si Paras, ano no? Almost daily ba yung 26 artists or 15 nakikita mo from time to time? Oh. Every week, 15 new artists. Mm. Uh, recruit nila sa Paras. So are you saying na, ano ba, itong, itong alimasag? Ah, uh, sige pa. Ito yung gawa ni Cryptera, di ba? Yeah. So, ang dami in in a, in, a, in a short time, maraming cards na siyang uh, kinawa. Bakit yung may sale hindi na kasi sold out na ba yan? Yeah. Kapag uh, Ay, hindi yeah, pa niya... kapag not on sale, yeah, not not on sale. Kapag walang presyo sa ilalim, ah. it mm-hmm. means it's not on sale na. Okay. By the hindi way, na mabibili. By the way, mga kabayan, Itong nakikita natin, itong mga artist na to, gumagawa sila ng kanilang creation sa digital form din. In mga anong software kaya ang gamit nila, Andy? Do you think? Siguro yung uh, the most common siguro is a uh, Photoshop at Illustrator. Pwede mga After Effects kasi meron pong mga GIFs dito. So, hmm. minsan, you have to make a moving image. Ito. Tulad nito. Hmm. GIF po to. So, you need uh, video editing software okay. para sa mga ganito. So, most likely After Effects or something similar. 
Okay, halimbawa, um, baba mo konti. I-examine natin isang card na marami nang bumili para makita ng mga, kab- mga kababayang Pinoy natin. Or even if you're a Filipino living in other parts of the world, let's say you're a second generation Filipino or German or Dutch or American. Actually, what we're doing right now is generally for the whole world to join Paras. But since we are geographically located in the Philippines, our first target audience is um, our Filipinos. Kaya nagtatagalo kami. But essentially, anyone on Earth can join. Even if you're on Mars, you can still join, so to speak. So, anong nakita natin yan? What are we looking at here? Yeah, ito yung example ng card hmm. na uh, the Cryptera made. Ito po. Cave Bug number three. Yan yung title ng card. Okay. And as you can see, ito po yung mga owners ng card. Ito po yung info, what this what the card is about. Ito mo may rarity pa, may power, value, parang Pokemon talaga. Mm. At saka yung supply, he has a supply of 45 pieces and it was created on March 23. Ito. About a month ago. Yeah, about a month ago. Tapos makita mo dito yung mga owners ng cards. Okay. So, okay. yung iba, yung merong, ito yun. Uh, he owns one copy. At saka he's selling it for 12 near. Magkano niya nabili? Uh, siguro, I think, 3 near yung original price nito. At saka, uh, he's selling it for 12 near. About $60. Around 3,000 pesos, more or less. Okay. Pero na, for sure, nabili niya mura. Yeah, for sure. Ito naman, he owns two of these. At saka, he's selling it for 20 near. Si so, Xiao Hong. Probably si Xiao Hong. Yeah. Hong. Okay. Um, so, ito po. So, these are the owners. The different owners. Yung not for sale. Yeah, f- uh, obviously. <laughs> hindi, hindi ito binibenta nila. By the way, guys, um, NFT stands for non-fungible tokens. Yung card na to ay an example of NFT. You know naman these days sa uh, crypto world, yung NFT talaga is a big um, in vogue talaga yun. Sikat na sikat talaga ngayon yung collectibles. So that's why maraming mga tao yung bumibili ngayon sa, dito sa platform na to kasi bibili nilang mura and then they can hold on to it and then flip it later on at a higher price. Tama, Andy? Right. That's May right. royalty ba? May royalty ang artist? Uh, noon, wala pa. Paras was not able to add yung royalty feature. Uh-huh. I think last month lang yung feature na yan in ad sa platform. So, which means na kung bumili ka before ng arrangement na yan, Walang royalty. Walang royalty. Walang royalty option. Pero ngayon, uh, we can go to that uh, option later kasi andun na po siya sa when you mint a card, makita mo na uh, makita mo na yan yung royal, uh, your royalty feature. Okay. By the way, ipapakita lang natin si Cryptera at saka yung specific na to, yung cave bug para lang malaman ng mga kababayan Pinoy natin kung ano yung um user interface and experience as ano, navigating para us, no? Tapos, yes. later uh, on, uh, we just, um, wag na tayo mag-dwell, mag-dwell too much kay maybe kay GC Pasqua, kay Amanda, since we have demonstrated Cryptera na, and Cryptera is one of the top artists. I'm not saying that these other fours are not, pero, yun lang, makikita natin yung mga different creations and themes nila based on their, you know, inclination, di ba? Yeah, that's right. So, I guess, uh, moving on from Cryptera, ito po, yung next artist po natin, si GC Pasqua, that year. Actually, isang uh, Pinoy artist po siya. This is a Pinoy artist. And yung specialty niya, as you can see, 
mm. is in portraits, digital portraits. So, okay. makikita mo dito yung work in progress niya. It's a GIF and he he's making the art. At dito, you can see, yung royalty feature is already here. Royalty 1%. Okay, explain that. When how let's say binenta niya ngayon tapos every month binibenta ng bumili and then the next month yung bumili binenta niya ulit. Yes, yes. How will he earn from that? He will get for example, um bumili, may bumili po to sa ng artwork niya for 35 near. And let's say yung bumili he sold that art this card, no, for 100 near to another artist. And so, okay. yung royalty will give the original artist some part of the uh, sale yes. ng other um, ng bumili ng artwork for 100 near. So, he gets out of 100 near, meron po siyang 1 near. <laughs> Kasi okay. 1% royalty. And how much yung near ngayon? Six, six dollars? Four? Ngayon, near is at four. Four na ngayon. Four. Oh. So, Kung meron, ibig sabihin, kung binenta ng 100 near at meron siyang royalty na 1%, meron siyang 1 near. One near. And that's about um, 200 peso. Yes, extra. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Tama, tama, oh. tama. 400 peso, correct? Kung near ay Right, sure. right. Pero yes, kung mataas yung near, magiging mataas din. And that's, as an artist, yun yung benefit ng royalty because no matter how many times your art is sold at how much, you still get 1% of that transaction. Yes, that's right. Okay. Uh, ito po yung parang, I guess you can say his gimmick, what makes him stand out, is uh, parang a special card. Makikita mo dalawang card. But they're pretty much the same. Pero yung isa, meron pong uh, a collector's card tsaka additional text dito. So, okay. I guess siguro it's tailor-made to the customer's request. Mm -hmm. Maybe yung customer niya, he wanted this card tsaka gusto niya may pangalan ng owner, si Astro Dutnier, baka si Astro Dutnier, ah, tama, si Astro Dutnier bumili it na, ng card nito. So, siguro he requested na to have his name imprinted on the card. So it's a little gimmick, but okay. it's sold. So you can but, say... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, it's uh, one of the strategies <laughs> ng artist nito. Makikita mo si ito. This is another example. Si Wit. That near. Si but Wit, I think, yeah. I think si Wit, si Wit is a witty... <laughs> The astro is astronomically strategic because he can his name is minted on the on the art itself so that means na parang part owner na rin siya originally mm, yes it is diba? it seems like it seems that way. yeah so si astro astronomically brilliant si wit naman witty witty <laughs> witty witty okay i guess moving on Ito yung next artist. This is Amanda Dutnier. Um, I think, from what I can remember, siya po yung mga one of the earliest artists na who got onboarded sa Paras. And uh, she's well known for her geometric animals. Ito po. Yung mga animals na parang low poly. Yung design nila. Pwede natin basahin yung, ano, yung description sa likod ng box. Ano, Sige, we can... Read. So the, actually, yung mga artists, di ba, they can put stories or the character, di ba? Mm, yes, so, they can put a, car, a description for the card. Let me read that for us, if you don't mind. Sige, ito. Description. So guys, again, mga kababayan, it, kung gusto nyo yung art nyo magkaroon ng persona, a narrative na very unique to this particular piece of art collectible. For example, this, uh, what do you call this? Ano pangalan nito? NFT? Hindi. Ah, yung, yung... <laughs> si Hati. Hati. Ah, si Hati. Pero hindi yan Tagalog na Hati na half, ha? Siguro si Amanda, ano yan? Parang Russian ba yan? Anyways, 
So, yung description, I'll read, I'll just read it para malalaman ng mga kabayan natin. On a cloudy stormy night, a wolf as white as the moon with the eyes as bright as the stars fell from the sky. All the animals were amazed at the beauty of the white wolf and tried so hard to convince him to stay. But Hati was part of the stars and the stars were part of him. And so he ran faster than any wolf, fast as a falling star. Even today, if you look carefully to the forest at night, you can see a wolf as white as the sea foam chasing the moon, hoping that one day he will be able to return home. Wow. It's quite a story. So, ito yung mga narratives na, na, that, that makes this art particularly unique, authentic, and full of meaning. Ilan, ilang meron nito? Can, you, can we check? There's 50 pieces. Ah, 50. And it was created two months ago? Three months? Three months ago. Okay, January pero, 10. Pero 10 years down the road, pag sinabi mong meron kang hati, uh, that's historical. Na we were able to buy a you know, limited edition. 50 piraso lang. Yeah. So, ito po si Amanda that near. Yeah. So, makikita mo yung mga geometric animals niya. And mm. she makes other art on the side naman. Multi-talented. Ito parang armor ng samurai, no? Yeah, parang armor ng samurai. <laughs> yeah. Pero yung highlight niya, for me, is yung geometric animals niya. Yun yung kanyang parang flagship na yes, yes. art. Parang, parang, <laughs> ang mga wolf reminds me of MetaMask, no? <laughs> yeah, MetaMask. Ito. This one is a very Yung similar wallet ng, to it, ano. siguro. O, kita mo, si Bob, he owns 39. So, <laughs> Bumili siya ng 39 cards yeah. mula kay Amanda. So, what do you think? Do you think that he will just keep it to himself or he just holds on to it until later on kung tumaas na yung value, bibenta niya? Yeah, baka de- depende sa buyer. It really depends on the buyer. Yung ito, itong buyer, he's selling it for 1,000 near. It's about four point four thousand nine hundred dollars. Pero magkano yung na bili? Magkano? Uh-huh. Uh, siguro it's about. Uh, let's see. We can check the history of the card, naman. Uh uh-huh. mm, Ten year. Ten year. Yung card. Yung original price ng card. So ten. Tapos benta niya one thousand. Benta niya one thousand. He has the right. There's nothing wrong with it. Some if someone buys, you know, that's that's the demand and supply, diba. Mm, yes, yes. Mm. All right. So yes, yun yung si Amanda. That's Amanda that year. Ito naman si Never Claim, another artist. Ang unique po yung mga art niya, yung creation nito. Uh ito. <laughs> Parasites. <laughs> ito yung creation niya. Uh, he's only setting one piece of each of his card. Okay. So Pero every mahal. card is a piece lang. Yes. Parasites. Parang kids drawing. Well, ito naman yung you know art style niya. So we can't judge. <laughs> well, it's yeah. I mean, art is art. Diba? Yes, yes. Pero even if uh, ito lang yung art style niya, people are still buying naman. Kita mo, somebody bought and that person is holding it, not selling it. Okay. Ito, three months ago, one piece for five near. And so, yeah, ito po yung art style niya. Very unique art style. At before noon, uh, that artist was making ito, different art style. Mm. Okay. All right. So, yeah, that's the next artist. She never claim that near. Never <laughs> right claim. and never claim. I think Tama never claim. All never right. Claim. Yeah. <laughs> now, ito po yung last artist natin si Gummy LSD that near. So unique art style na naman. You can see, as the artist name implies, trippy psychedelic. Tsaka gummy bears. 
gummy bear theme yung cards niya. Lahat. Mm-hmm. Siguro, nung nag-LLSD siya, <laughs> masa state of psychedelic siya, titingnan niya yung isang gummy bear, tapos yan yung kanyang illusion yeah. or hallucination. Ano? Yeah, that's right. So, ito po, 10 pieces with 10% royalty wow. in the LSD gummy bear collection. And if you can see the owners, yun, three people liked his artwork. Oh, sabi nila, oh, maganda ito. And so they bought it. For, yeah, three near. Wow. Ang ganda ng paggagawa, no? Ano, anong software kaya yung ginamit niya yan? Mm, uh, hindi po ako sure. Siguro, to make these effects, I only know After Effects. <laughs> But siguro there are other software To, okay. uh, in order, you know, you can make these using different softwares. Yeah. All right. So, five artists, five unique diff- uh, styles. Yeah. Uh, they have their own uh, way of making things and minting cards. But yeah, they they sell naman. And uh, bawat isa sa kanila, they have their own unique art style. Do you think we can play that video sa YouTube ng para sa para makita ng mga ano ayan yung introductory video yung ayan ah, can we play that one minute oh this okay. one yeah sige we can we can see IPFS, do you know what that is? Mm, I haven't really checked. Okay. So, dalawa to guys, for, for collectors, basahin muna natin yung sa baba, for collectors. Discover beautiful art cards and collect them on a blockchain-based technology that prevents forgery and provides provable ownership. But once, once you own this thing, it's, it's forever... Um, forever it's yours. Nuts. On the blockchain. Na. Diba? For, for artists naman, which I encourage, we encourage a lot of you guys, uh, saan man kayo sa Pilipinas, or even if you're not in the Philippines, as long as you're Filipino, or even if you're not Filipino, because we're speaking Tagalog here, but um, as long as you're a human being who can create art, um, create, um, you, can, you can start here, which we will demo later on with Andy, just how to mint. Um, but... If, if not, you can check our first video with the founder that's uh, by Ricky. He showed us how to create a, a wallet and then on testnet. Um, and then um, he showed us how to mint it. But essentially, I'm just going to read the, the paragraph here, the sentences for artists. Create your own digital art cards and sell them on the marketplace in just a few clicks. So that's the phrase there, just a few clicks. Start earning with your digital creation. And si Andy dito, isang artist din siya. Andy, can you show us your, you can showcase your creation, if you don't mind? Uh, sure thing. Part-time artist lang. Part-time. Well, an artist and artist. Ar- artists for fun. So, ito po yung art. Some of my art. Yon. Yon, no. And so, kita mo, somebody bought this artwork and so is selling it for 1 million near. <laughs> si Ma, sino ba yan? Si, si yung galala natin? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Ito. Oh, huwag mo ipakita pangalan niya. <laughs> okay lang. So, ito. This is just some of the art I'm, I made. Uh, just a few. 
konti pa lang. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, ito actually, uh, just interesting fact about this card. Yeah. I made five copies of this card. Yung The Maiden. Tapos, uh, uh, sina Sail the Seas, he bought all five copies. Kasi I was selling it at a very cheap price. 2.5 near lang. Okay. Eh, tapos, uh, sinunog niya yung tatlong pieces. <laughs> the other three pieces, sinunog no, niya. No way. Yeah. You can But, do that naman. You have that option sa... Just like you're burning a literal trading card, parang to increase the rarity siguro. Binner niya, sinunog, tatlong pieces. At saka yung other piece, uh, he sold it for, he put it on sale for 42 near. Wow. Grabe, 42 near. And somebody actually bought that piece, isang piece, for 42 near. Wow. So there you go because he burned the other two just to create a scarcity there. Yeah, tatlong pieces actually ang sinunog niya. Uh, bumili siya ng apat, sinunog niya yung tatlo, isa yung natira, binenta niya at, at 42. Bumili siya ng lima. Okay. Sinunog niya yung tatlo, so dalawa na lang. Binenta niya yung isa at yung isa sa kanya. Wow. Parang may uh, own uh, ownership siya. Wow. So yung isa uh, bumili for 42 near. And actually yung other yung other copy binenta niya for 49 near. <laughs> yung other copy at may, meron merong bumili. Somebody actually bought that copy. Baka si Alex na ano yan na si Danov. Yeah, baka si Alex. <laughs> Founder ng niya. Mm. So Alex has big money. <laughs> So yeah, just interesting. Uh... That's an interesting story of yours, Andy. Maybe later on we can re- refer to that once again and again. Yeah. Okay. So yun. That's yun uh... mga, ano mo, sa baba, mga Caesar ba yun? Ano ba yun? Mga bust. Parang statues. Historical ano, figures. Yeah. I just made them kind of trippy. Parang psychedelic. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So that's the art style. I haven't Wait, made any new ones. Mahal yung recently. benta mo, 1,000 near. Uh, yung saan? Ito? Ayun, no? 1,111. Ah, isang copy lang po ito kasi. Dalawang copy. Yung isa, not for sale. Kasi I wanted to keep one. At saka yung bumili, uh, she bought it for 20 near and binenta niya ngayon for 1,000 near. Just about four days ago. Wow. Stacy. So... Pero yung kaganda sa blockchain, di mo makikilala si Stacy, di ba? Kung saan siyang country. Uh, pwede naman if she puts her information dun sa kanyang uh, page. Uh-huh. Kasi pwede naman eh. Kikita mo. She Alright. can put her information there. But yeah, if she doesn't choose to, uh, baka we never know who she is. Pero I think nawala na tayo ng time, no? Kasi overtime na tayo. We'll just ah, oh, yeah, yes. na... Andy? Yes, yeah, siguro. Just a quick demonstration kung paano, if you're interested, if you're an artist watching, at saka you're interested in maybe creating your artwork, uh, just a heads up, you have to be whitelisted muna by Paras. You have to apply. Uh, you just can't uh, enter this website at saka start posting your art <laughs> uh, whenever you feel like it. You have to be whitelisted muna. You have to pass an application to Paras and they will Uh, check your account, check your profile, check your social media accounts, and kung feel nila, you qualify, i-approve ka nila. And so if once you're whitelisted, once you're approved, you can now create and sell your art. And for example, we can do a quick demo. So ito, so you can go to your profile and use uh, create card. You click on create card and ito, this window will pop up. Mm. So, pwede kang ma-upload ng file. Yung ratio nila is 64 to 89. Parang standard collectible card. Okay. Very similar to a collectible card. Maximum size, 16 megabytes. And so, for example, ito po yung 
one of my projects. Saglit lang po. Ah, eto. So, ito po yung isang card na di ko pa pinost. But, let's say I want to post this. So, lagay ko dyan. And once it's there, I can click next. So, ito, you can put in your card name. Uh, anong collection? Which collection you want it to be? Say, for example, dun sa psychedelic series. Maybe yung card name is the near token. And ito, yung card description. It can be about anything. <laughs> anything you want to put sa just description. Put, just type just anything. 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 <laughs> Pero yeah. usually, uh, may mga story po yung description. Doon nakalagay yung story behind the card, siguro. Baka, you know, uh, the artist can say, ito po yung first card ko. So this is my first card. You can put that in the description. Mm. Anything. And dito sa ilalim, you can put a number of copies that say, siguro you want 50 pieces of this card to be in circulation. So you put in the number of copies uh, dun sa ilalim. And so next, the next slide, the next uh, part of this creation process, ito po yung royalty. Like we said earlier, no? royalty, you can put in how much uh, of the per of percentage, how many percent, percent you want. 80 percent. 80%. <laughs> 80% royalty. Oh, let's say 10% na lang muna, to be fair. You know, 10% is decent. And so dito, sale quantity, let's say you have 50 pieces, but you only want to sell, siguro, 49 pieces. You don't want yung isa. You want to keep one for yourself, mm. just in case. So you can just put 49. Yung sale quantity is basically the amount you want to be sold on the marketplace. Okay. So you can put, if you want, you can put only 30. If you want to keep 20 for yourself, maybe, siguro, mamaya, you can give away the 20 once you reach maybe a certain number of followers dun sa Twitter or sa Instagram profile mo. Yeah. Yeah, you can put in anything dito. And for the sale price, yeah, it really depends on you as well. Maybe you can put 10 near for one copy or two near or one near. So, ito yung sa ilalim is the approximate price of one year. So, ngayon, it's at 4.99. So, real-time ba yan? Nakakonect yan sa... Yes, nakakonect ito sa near blockchain. So, it's, uh, it's real-time. It's constantly updating depending on the price of the near token. Okay. Got it. So... Gusto mo, you, maybe siguro you want to sell it for 10 near. Lagay mo lang 10. And then afterwards, once you click next, na. All right, ito na yung uh, okay. summary. So makikita mo dito, receive. Kasi para requires just a small, mayroon, mayroon po silang small fee na kinukuha. Every time you mint a card, Dito, ito po. Ito yung fee nila. So aside from the royal royalty, meron pong fee, 0 0.5 near. So you're not exactly getting 10 near. Because yeah. you know you have to go through their platform. They're giving you a platform to uh, to sell your artwork. And so it would only be right for them to require. Uh, kahit counting amount. No? Hmm. Okay. So, ito. Uh, once you made your card, uh, siguro you're happy now with the description, gusto mo nang ibenta, pwede mong, you can click on create card. Tapos, uh, once dun. you click create, you cannot turn back. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Once you click create, uh, di mo na take back. Eh, kasi blockchains are immutable. One, you can only go forward. You cannot change the Para. data. Parang asking the river to go upstream. Yeah. So, ganon. It's as simple as that. All right. Creating a card. So, at least if you're an interested artist at you're watching this right now, uh, at least malalaman mo kung paano magmint on Paras. Okay. So, guys, sign up na for ano, 
or being whitelisted. Again, marami pa tayong makikita dyan sa susunod na mga segments natin. Papakita natin yung ibang artists. Tsaka, ano ba ba? Yung ibang features ng paras. Kasi gusto talaga namin na kung gumagawa kayo ng art already, kung gumagawa lang din naman kayo ng art, especially digital, why not sign up for Paras? Then, ibenta nyo yung mga obra maestra. Inyo? <laughs> Tagalog talaga, no? <laughs> Tulad ni Andy, part-time artist lang din naman siya, pero nag-earn siya ng an arm and a leg. <laughs> no, that's, is that supposed to be part? But anyways, big time na siya ngayon. Kaya part-time, part-time Hindi na naman. Siya. Abi lang yan, abi. Abi siya, pero mapagkakitaan. Kasi ngayon pandemic, kung wala kang income at saka may talent ka sa pag pag, uh, pag ano may yung drawing sa ano, Tagalog? Digital art? Pag Sining? Digital art, Sining. Sining. Why not? Malay mo. May Lain yun. Di ba? Maraming uh, Filipino artists actually doon sa Paras. Talaga? Apa. We were able to talk to the co-founders ng Paras. And doon sa interview nila, sabi nila yung uh, a lot of their top earning artists are actually from the Philippines. Uh, kababayan po natin, Pinoy. Sa talented daw yung mga Pinoy eh. Sa pagkanta, sa pagsayaw. Okay, um, hanggang dito na muna tayo. Huwag kayong aalis, babalik agad ang matibot. Ah, hindi. Uh, so yan guys, if you're watching this on Facebook, on Instagram, and where else? YouTube. We can put in the description yung link doon sa Paras um, application. Andy, any last words? So if interested po kayo, eh, you're a Filipino artist watching this, uh, pwede na po kayong sumali and to get whitelisted on Paras so that you can start earning for your art. Okay. So hanggang sa muling pagkikita, <laughs> brought to you by Near Protocol, the future of blockchain and crypto. All right.